Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to mod Skyrim. And I'm going to show you how to mod the amount of gold that's in an empty container. An empty container such as this chest that says empty. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to save. Yeah, sorry about the the cap card quality is kind of bad, I know. And then go to the Xbox dashboard. Go to system settings, memory, go to your hard drive, games, find Skyrim, and find your save. Don't use the auto saves, use the save that you just used. Move it to your USB device. And start up Skyrim. While we're waiting, remove the USB device and plug it into your computer. and open up Mario. Mario, you'll need a Mario and Hex Workshop. Google's your friend. You can find them both easily. Alright, once you open up Mario, you want to go to Explore Device. You can also use Horizon. I just use Mario. And move your save file to the desktop and go ahead and close your device. And from Mario go to open save and open up your save. Go to file contents. You want to Extract this. I'm going to put it on the desktop. Here it is right here. Now you want to open this up in Hex Workshop. And hit the binoculars up here. And you want to basically just search for a value that it can't find any instances of. Before you search, make sure that it's on 32-bit, doesn't matter which one. And hit OK. See, it found zero instances of Four, or 4093. What you don't want to see is this right here where it says where it finds more than one instance. Now obviously that's a lot of instances. That's One is a very bad number. Forty nine four thousand ninety three zero instances. And you want to close that. You can go ahead and delete these and remove your USB device from your computer. Put it back in the Xbox. Now this video will drag on a bit simply because I want to explain this in good detail so people who have trouble with hex editing will actually have a shot at doing this. So when you want to, you want to select your memory unit because that's what it's on. It's on your USB device. Hit continue.
any second now. Yeah, again, sorry for the cap card quality. Okay, so go to your empty chest. And go to your gold. Now remember, our magic number was 4093, 4093. So you want to put that much gold container. Now you can save. And you can go ahead and remove your USB device from your Xbox. That'll pop up. Don't worry about that. Open your drive. Drag it onto your desktop. Now we're actually going to be modding it, so now is the time to make a backup. I don't want to see comments about you screwed up my game save because you didn't make a backup. Now, if you want to reuse this backup, just delete that portion of it and put it right back in here. So, again, I'm going to open save, and you're going to save, you just copy off your USB device, Extra extract your savegame.dat from file contents onto the desktop. No need to back this up because it's already in here. Open it up in Xedit Workshop, and find... 4093. Now, your number may be different. It just depends. It found one instance. Right here is the amount of gold that's in the chest. And here is the item ID. Now you want to go ahead and change this to 54B4FF. This isn't quite the maximum, but it's enough to where you won't, you can't have too much. You won't find enough gold in the game to go over the limit. And go ahead and save. Now we'll minimize this for now. Go back to your save game .dat, go to replace file. And select save game .dat. Go back to the general file info, rehash and resign. You can exit this. You can delete your old save. Insert your modded one. Not the not the one that says copy. This one. It doesn't say copy. Now I'll go ahead, remove or wait first. Close the drive. Remove the device from your computer. Plug it into your Xbox. Go and load your game. Hang on a second. Go to your memory unit. And here's our modded game save.
here to the chest. And there you can see I have a lot of gold. That is a lot of gold. Now for the fun part. I'm going to show you off of my my uh, backed up one how to go ahead and item swap so I can delete all this Of course, again, we'll open the save in Mario, go to contents, extract the save game.dat to the desktop. Notice I made a backup of this file. Close that. We'll do the same process, find 4093, one instance. You can change this again to 54B4FF. Now there's the same amount of gold. Right here's the item ID. If we change this F right here, the 0F to 0A, there will be that many lockpicks in that chest. And if you search the web a little bit, there's a Wiki Skyrim page. You can find other item IDs, and you can change it to other items as you wish. Just showing you lockpicks, because that's really useful. And we saved. So we're going to replace this file with a modded save game dot dot we're going to rehash and resign and close that open your drive delete your old save and replace it with your modded save Close the drive, remove the USB device, plug it back into your Xbox, and load your game. Shit, I selected the wrong one. Yep, sorry about that. That's going to cause another five minutes on the video. I mean, if you already have proof of the gold, I'm sure you'll just skip the rest of this. I already showed you how to do the actual modding, so if you want just proof, you can want. I'll understand if you don't. Okay, wow. Well, this isn't, it's not doing this because of the modding, it's because my Xbox is a tard. Okay, it's there now. Alright. 
third time's the charm. Let's see if this works. Put your memory unit. And we'll continue loading. open the lock of the chest and there you see I have that many lock picks. And if you want to quickly move your game save back to your Xbox, just simply remove the USB device. And then save it on your hard drive. And that pretty much wraps it up.